So this past Tuesday morning, I was leading our morning prayer meeting at 7 a.m. in the library. And by the way, we have a prayer gathering every morning of the week, Monday through Friday. Uh, one of the different pastors or elders sort of leads the time every morning. So my morning is Tuesday mornings, and I was leading our prayer gathering. And uh, we always read a passage of Scripture as a way to sort of get our hearts ready to enter into prayer. The passage we read this past Tuesday was Isaiah chapter 40, and my eyes and my heart were drawn to this section of Isaiah 40. Um, it is He, God, who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them like a tent to dwell in, who brings princes to nothing and makes the rulers of the earth as emptiness. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown, scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth when he blows on them and they wither. The obvious contrast in Isaiah 40 is between the eternality and the permanence and the, the weightiness of God and how even earthly princes and rulers are just sort of here and then gone. Here's why my heart was drawn to that, because it's election season, you guys, and we're all thinking about earthly princes and rulers, and who do we want to be in power for the next four years, and what's going to happen, and all the political stuff around us. And it was just a good reminder, hey, you know what? God has all of that under control, and whatever happens over the next four years, eight years, 12 years, whatever, is nothing compared to what God is doing in the scope of history, what God is doing in our time, and what God has been doing since the time of Abraham. So I just want to offer that to you as a, as a little perspective in a season that we're heading into that I, I guarantee you for the next four weeks, right, all we're going to hear about is election-related stuff, and it can get really overwhelming, um, and especially in a year where there's a lot of polarization and a lot of confusion. Man, be encouraged that God is sovereign in a way that is beyond what we could possibly imagine, and that's good news for us as His people. Now, People of Coromdale, I want to invite you, especially men. Remember, we have a men's vision breakfast coming up this Saturday. It is in no way a replacement for the Coromdale men's retreat, which had to get canceled. But it is an attempt just to gather the men of Coromdale together for a couple hours on Saturday morning. There's going to be a great breakfast served to you. And because there's food, we need to know how many of you are coming. We need to know, are we cooking for 100 people or 1,000 people? You know, that matters. So... Right now, as you watch this video, I need you to go to this link that you see, cdomaha.com slash men, and register. If you do not register, we will not have food for you. You can still show up, but you will just have an empty plate in front of you, and you'll be like, man, I wish I was eating what that person over there is eating while you're staring at an empty plate, okay? So we'd still love to have you, but we will not have food for you unless you register. Uh, I hope to see as many of you men there as can possibly be there. There's not even a Husker football game yet. That's how amazing it is that we could have a men's breakfast. The Big Ten season hasn't even started. Don't you wish you were in the Big 12? I bet you do. Anyways, sorry for the knock. I'll see you next Sunday for another weekly update.